After years of wanting a 3D printer and endless research on the best options in terms of print quality, build volume, upgradability and of course price, I finally found one for sale back in January that I thought would fit the bill. The BQ Prusa i3 Hephaestos. I live streamed the build process of it and the first print, a link to which can be found in the description if you want to watch all 4 hours of it with sound, but what you're seeing now is a time lapse of the build while I'll tell you a little story. You see, in the five years that I spent studying product design, I had access to some incredible machinery, and that's where my fascination with CNC machines really started. I saw firsthand while working on assignments how useful they were for rapid prototyping and making extremely accurate and complex mechanisms and models far more quickly and precisely than I could by hand. As somebody that's always been naturally good with computers, I took to 3D modeling and used it whenever I could in my projects. I got very friendly with the software that we used at school to the point where my fellow students and even our teacher would come to me for help. For my GCSE project, part of my product relied on the kit-built 3D printer the school had had for years, even before I'd started there to print a complex 3D model that I'd made. I had no idea what I was doing at the time and was told that the teacher who had built the printer had left in my second year so I was on my own, so I scoured through all the limited documentation that there was and tried desperately to get the printer working on my own, but it turned out the extruder was broken and replacement parts were no longer made for that model, so I had to outsource getting my parts printed. Fast forward a few months, and I come back to school to start in sixth form studying product design for A-level. I'm greeted by a brand new Flashforge Dreamer, which is quite a pricey, ready-to-use 3D printer with dual extruders. As I'd already learnt a lot about 3D printers while tinkering with the old one, my teacher, who I got along with very well, came to me, and I set about showing him how to set it up and export an STL with the software that we used, as well as using a slicer to generate the G-code for the machine. It was a very rewarding experience, and I finally got to watch some of my own 3D models being printed. There's something mesmerising about watching a 3D printer do its thing, and this is where my love for 3D printers was really born. As one of the oldest students in the school now, and limited staff in the technology department, I ended up sort of becoming the unofficial resident 3D printing expert, helping the younger students with using it and fixing it when they inevitably to be broken. This allowed me to not only gain experience with 3D printers, but also use it for some of my own projects such as this GoPro housing I started making. So with my printer fully built, I headed over to Thingiverse, which is a website with a huge repository of 3D models to download and print, and found a small truck which I wanted to make for my first print. So I downloaded it and opened it up in Cura, which is my preferred slicer, and exported the G-code file to an SD card, which I then put into my printer and set the printer to work. Whilst this is printing, I should probably give you my impressions of the machine so far. This is a great 3D printer to get started off with. As far as 3D printers go, it's very inexpensive yet still very versatile, offering a relatively large build volume of around 20 by 20 by 20 centimeters, and the ability to upgrade the hot end completely, add a Bowden extruder, and upgrade to a heated bed like mine has for printing other materials like ABS, is an absolutely fantastic feature. It's fun and interesting to build, and the print quality is excellent once you get it dialed in and find the right settings for your machine. Another bonus, as it's a DIY kit, any mechanical issues you might encounter are pretty easy to diagnose and fix, as you get pretty personal with your machine. The only annoying thing is the lack of information specific to this BQ kit. So, it can be a bit daunting to start off with, but thanks to great communities like the r 3 d printing subreddit, you should be able to find any answers that you're looking for. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it interesting. Drop me a like if you have, and if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments for me, and I'll try to do my best to answer them. Now I'll leave you with my past self from the live stream. It's actually dealt with that overhang really well. That's like a sheer overhang just there. Okay, there is a little bit of string in there, which is to be expected to be honest, without support or anything. It's on 99%. It's done! It's done! It's done! Success! Oh, it's stuck. <clears throat> oh, that's a wheel. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, oh, I broke it. Oh, I literally broke it. GG.